Hi everyone. So, you know, it, it seems like God was forcing me, push me to, um, you know, make this new video, this next video. And it is, it happens to be about buttons. And that was, um, this thing just appeared out of nowhere. Um, and, uh, just started talking about buttons and, and, um, it revealed a few buttons, but so we could actually go to buttons on no, yeah, for for uh, clothing. Now, I was thinking, how can we make this better? Because I have long sleeve shirts, t-shirts, and it's very, I don't know the word, ir irritable, like is irritating when. You're trying to put your sleeve and it's very, very difficult. So what I have thought of um, uh, for the, to revolutionize the button was what if, like, you know, for example, let's take an, an umbrella, right? Now we have an umbrella. What does the umbrella do? It folds, right? So... That's what I was kind of thinking about this idea. What if we could get the button to fold temporarily? And so I thought about this. I thought about this and I thought about it for a little while anyway. And I was thinking, what if, okay, okay. So you, what you want to do is you want to get the button to go to to bend down to to um to bend down you want it to bend down this way so you can slide it up the hole where that the grooves at and then release it once you release it it'll blow like it will expand back out and then it'll get trapped so it's not expanding the opposite direction like this, where it could slip out. Once you, once it expands out of the the t-shirt, the fabric, it'll expand out this way. And whether you put pressure up against the button, it will not um, undo itself. It will not fall off. Now, when you're removing it, you'll basically pinch it. It'll turn into a, a like a like a um, straight stick and then you could poke it through and then let go and then the button will inflate back out in a way uh not inflate like it like a balloon but um it, it will um basically work like like an umbrella and that this right here if someone can actually do it at an affordable cost and they can make it where it's effective. And I've, and I've actually have thought of something in my mind for this idea. And what I kind of thought of was, okay, the only way that this could work is if you have, um, okay, let's take this for example, we have this image here. So let's drag this out. I don't have Photoshop because it's not free and I can't afford it. It's $30 every month. Um, but I do have the preview um, option here uh, that comes with my iMac so I have to just use that for the demonstration of this video you know unless I ask my friend and I go on his iMac um, in the next room the office which I don't want to go to and because he's always working and I don't want to make noise I can't make noise you know and then he would, he would just be like excuse me and I'll be like well no I wasn't talking to you I was over here just trying to make a video that type of shit. But anyway, so the way I have thought about this is for it to work effectively would be for us, whoever's manufacturing this, to create uh, like a ledge. So basically what it will look like is like this, like that. So that, that's one. The other one will be the completely opposite of that, but it will be a pattern. 
that will interlock itself in a way. Something like this. Oh, well, this one though will be like that. I kind of messed up on the pattern. So see, so you're looking at this and this here. Like that. So what will happen is that the button will lock itself, you know, like interlock itself in, with the pattern. So people, I mean, there's people out there that are doing a bunch of um, like pattern interlocking. And there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of ideas that people could patent, um, whatever the fuck, you know, whatever you could think of, um, for, for, um, this is, um, for like plastics. I, I'm, I'm going to just say this for, for, for us to find something on the internet to, Give us like a quick illustration of what I'm kind of referring to. Um, this is a good one here. You know how it interlocks there. So I don't know. Like I, I guess the idea is is, um, is a plausible, you know. But actually coming up with a interlocking device and and coming up with a for it, you know, for it to really function properly would require some you know, deep thinking and someone that kind of is familiar with, um, with a way that it can work. Um, and if, I guess if someone can actually do that, then it could be introduced in a lot of, a lot of ideas and a lot of inventions that are already invented, but it, they could be implemented in a lot of inventions. Um, like, uh, like tar, like the tar, um, tar, um, when you say tarp wrap, so see like this. People have to string it up and stuff like that. Um, so they have the holes on the tarps like this. So that will be another way for us to quickly, um, you know, like wrap things up or whatever. And then by pushing the, the thing, the button in and then sliding it into the hole, it will it will expand right on right when you put it into the hole right when you put it into the hole it will expand out here like that bam and then that will allow you well obviously it won't get stuck but that will allow you to remove it detach it and then when you put it back into the hole and then it will expand out and then it'll prevent it from falling out so that'll be like um you getting a, your t-shirt and basically um, you push you push it and you could even do it out here see you could level it to that push it and then that the little um, once you push it it will turn into like something like that straight once you push it, it'll turn like into an opposite, like an umbrella, a folded down umbrella. And then when you let go of it, it will expand, boom. And it'll be like, once it expands, instead of doing all this, it will just be like that once you go like that. And then you can push it in again, and it'll be like, like it being there, but once you push it, it'll allow you to easily, you know, take it out. 
So that's just one way for us to have um, better ways uh, to to get dressed faster. Um, you know, and this is a good. Um, this is actually a good um, idea for people that buy like expensive suits. Like, fuck, I heard people buy some for like um, suits for like ten thousand dollars. I don't even know if this is fucking real or not, but <clears throat> excuse me. I mean, it's fucking there. I don't fucking know. I mean, to me, it sounds unreal, unrealistic. But let me see. Um, high to low. I mean, I don't see no suits. A hundred. Yeah, so I don't really see $10,000 suits. People are fucking lying. You know, I don't fucking see it. Suits for ten thousand. This one is four thousand, five thousand, five thousand. Um, whatever. See, so see, so some people could afford this shit. You know what? I, you know, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. So if you could afford this shit, you could definitely afford these fucking, you know, easy to put on fucking buttons. Easy to remove fucking buttons. Quote unquote type of shit. That's your fucking selling point right there. Your button that folds. Like an umbrella type of thing. Like that motherfucker. Just like that. You know. But obviously when you let go, it will go back to its um to its fucking shape. Man, like I should I'm I'm coming up with all these ideas. I should be focused on medical shit. That would be even better. That'll help people out even more, I think. But you know, we all gotta start somewhere in this fucking bitch. Man, I haven't been fucking I haven't I'm not fucking rich. I can't. Just walk up to a fucking medical facility or start my fucking own and do whatever the fuck I want up in that bitch. Be like, bitch, you're fucking doing this shit wrong. Let me fucking invent something. Let me introduce something new to the motherfucking market. I, I don't fucking know. You know? But anyway, um, yeah, this was just a fucking idea that came to my mind. And I even have it down right here. I have a. I still have to make all these videos. Um, clothing buttons. Clothing buttons. And then these I already did. Uh, this one I already. A uh, notebook with pen. I kind of spoke about that. In my other video. Um, for the uh, iPhone cases. And then obviously there's the cutting tool. Um, so yeah, I'm basically done because I already posted that up. Yeah, I just really still like, um, working out the prototype and stuff like that in my mind for that other idea. But anyway, yeah, God bless everyone. And I just felt like, you know, I had to post this up because I was looking at this video and it started talking about this stuff on, you know, on the internet. So I, I felt like, you know, this is the moment when, you know, I have to, you know, talk about this because I thought about this idea and obviously it's out of my fucking mind now. Praise God. I don't got to fucking worry about it. I don't got to fucking think about it. You motherfuckers that are out there fucking in this industry, think about it. You know, patent it. Do whatever the fuck you got to do. You know, introduce it to the world. You know, make everyone's life easier. Make make some shit happen for yourself and other people. Like, fuck all this greedy shit. <sighs> Anyways. God bless everyone.